hi, this is Mimi, born to sparkle and shine. The bifocals have arrived. So they've arrived. I feel very disoriented in them. I just picked them up this morning. So here are the ones I chose. They had to be bigger here because they're bifocals. I have no concept of where to look, up, down, sideways. I'm going to have to look up a video on YouTube or something on how to read in these because they're just... I feel like I'm looking into like a fun mirror, but having to walk forward. So I'm not wearing these while I drive yet. Because I you're supposed to like look up. Like this, up, I don't know. Look down to read. Very disorienting. So for your, I don't know, for your glasses to be by vocals, first thing is kind of like not good. I still like the color of them. Uh, Shelly wouldn't wake up to go with me. So she didn't get to choose some that looked more <laughs> responsible. And I offered, it was only like 9 a.m. appointment a few Saturdays ago. I was like, if you want to go with me, you can help me pick them out. If not, I get to pick what I want. So anyway, so this is Bifocals on Mimi, Born to Sparkle and Shine. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. Hit like if you like this video. Share with your friends if you like it. And then I also got these. These are... Uh, reading glasses so these are my reading glasses I should kind of like these better hmm. anyway these are for reading and they're you have to have special reading glasses if you have astigmatism or I don't even know what but these are very disorienting because it's hard to see anything past where my phone is so reading glasses a little tortoise shell going on a little purple going on some color style I have a feeling if Shelly had gone with me, I would have ended up with something that was like brown or normal colored or black or something. They had some cool black ones. Um, so these are the real glasses. So this is all because of the doctor that I work for saying that my eyes should not be twitching. I think my right eye was twitching because I was next to them and they were on my right side and they were causing me stress. So it's causing me to twitch. Um, but it actually probably was my vision was so bad that my eyes were getting strained because within two hours of working, my eyes were starting to twitch. I, I look at microscopes, not all day, but I do look at microscopes so it makes things even more focusing, which is the point of the, the glasses, the reading glasses. These are for mainly, I guess, computer work slash, um, microscope work. And these are for every day if I learn how to use them. So I have to look up to see distance and, and people deal with this all day i'm not like like tortured or something's wrong this is just new to me so i don't know if it's new to anybody else and i thought i would share that glasses are interesting i kind of like these because they got a little blue going on here this is i don't know what color this is a darker blue i guess and this so i went in to try them on and it's i don't know how they expect them, you to know if they fit right because they're it's disorienting to not have anything on your face and like on touching your head and then say, oh, does that feel comfortable? No, it didn't feel comfortable. There's something touching my face. Um, I kind of schmoozed my way into some hard cases for free because like they were offering me these soft cases. And I was like, yeah, I'm going to break those. Let me buy some cases. They're like, oh, no, we have these cases we can offer you. And they were cute and little and pink and blue. And I talked them into giving me two of them, one for each pair of glasses. And I realized I think they're kid cases. So... I don't know if that really helped me to smooth my way into them because they're really small. So I figure if I get a kid that needs a glass case cover, I'll give them one of my covers. Because I have two very small covers. Like, they don't fit the glasses. So I've got to go. Uh, Shelly's offered to drop me off at America's Best. She doesn't want to go in because of the situation with the COVID. When you go in there, there's just ooh, people everywhere. And there's it's really busy. Like, someone walked in with two kids, a teenager who had a baby on her hip that was her baby, which is fine, and an adult, and none of them had masks on. They were, like, shocked when they had to put their mask on that they had in their pockets. So they walk in, and they don't think to put their mask on. This is America, and we are, this is what you got to deal with. This, whether you believe it or not, this is the rules we're trying to follow right now to see if everybody's safe. Um, I just, mm -hmm, just put the mask on, people. Put it on. Um, recently, there was a person in our area that was a um, police officer, and they had a small party, small party. They got COVID within four weeks. They were gone. They'd gone to see Jesus. So this is real. There's really an illness out here that is making some people sick, some not. Age matters because of secondary factors, like comorbidities. If you have other problems like diabetes or whatever. But it, I've seen 
it affect different people of different ages. I'm not, this is not a speech about COVID. Anyway, um, keep yourself safe. And I use hand sanitizer. I use antimicrobial sprays. I'm just trying to keep myself safe. So that's all I can do. Um, it's whatever. It's whatever it is. Um, so these are the new glasses. The point of this, this was that these are the new bifocals. I think I'm happy with them. We'll see how this goes. I don't know if I'm going to change my makeup on my eyes or not. Because i got to make sure my makeup shines through. So wearing basic makeup isn't going to work. But I think I got the right pair. We'll see. It's kind of too late to do. Well, I think you can return them if you don't love them. But I don't know if I want to deal with trying to change them out. Because that's a lot of work. I picked these quickly because I was irritated. And it was there were too many people in there. It was like, The air wasn't moving in the room. So when I picked them, I was like, oh, God, this air's not moving. And then I felt bad because every time you picked a pair of glasses, they had to sterilize them. So even if you touched the arm to say, oh, these look good on me and put them towards your face, they had to go in a special basket to be sterilized, which is good. It just made me feel like I was making people do extra work when all I was doing trying to look at glasses. And I was just trying to, you know, try to pick a pair. So um, we'll see how this goes. I'm, also wear I'm supposed to wear these. Because I, when I first put them on, I got really nauseous. So they were like, oh, don't drive home in these. And so they said, wear them for a few hours a day. Take them on, put them on, off, on, or you'll get headaches. Get used to trying to look up for vision, for far away vision and down for reading. I don't want to do this. I don't want to do it. I even want to throw a fit on the floor. Because I, I realized they became more real when I got them. And I was like, literally, I want to throw a fit on the floor of the store when I pick them up because I don't like this concept and this is not working well for me. This is something people deal with all day. Some people have worn glasses. They were infants. I'm fully aware of this concept. I'm not special and I um, am privileged enough to have medical, you know, medical, I mean, I'm sorry, optical ability to go to an optician and get op I care for my eyes and the health of my eyes. They did a health check and my eyes were really healthy. <sighs> I just don't want to do this. So, and now I'm just rambling. Oh my gosh, it's been seven minutes. I'm rambling for seven minutes about glasses that people wear all the time. So, and I think little babies with glasses are so cute. <laughs> so cute, they're like glasses. And then they have them at that closet. They keep them on their little head, the little strap. They look so cute with glasses. Not that I want babies to wear glasses, but they got to wear glasses. They're freaking cute in them. I bet a puppy with glasses would be even cuter. So, anyway, wash your hands. Use hand sanitizer. Get some rest. This is Mimi Born of Sparkle and Shine. Share my YouTube channel with other people. Watch it. Like it. Subscribe. Take care. Bye-bye.